In this video, we will describe the Mac scenario for you. This will be for on-premises Macs using the Centrify agent for Macs as well. This lab is an extension of the earlier lab that we had with Unix Linux and uh, we'll reuse some of the um, capabilities already set up. As you know, this is based on the Microsoft Test Lab Guide. So we've introduced a couple of machines. Uh, this is a classic one. This is the Windows 7 machine. This will be where we'll have the management station for Mac admins and we'll, where we'll edit the GPOs. I have a uh, Mac Mavericks, uh, Mac OS 10 Mavericks, uh, that will be used for our on-premise scenario. And uh, we will keep the same uh, governance model that we had before. So we will, um, we will create an OU and this OU will be basically uh, called uh, Max, and we'll have two scenarios for corporate and BYOD. BYOD will be covered later. So now let's talk about some of the requirements for this fictitious scenario. So uh, first, we're gonna make sure that we have the classic AD integration in which we, you know, natively use AD. Um, you know, we don't we don't synchronize any identities. Uh, we control uh, users. Uh, through a, a tools like uh, user Active Directory users on computers, um, we make sure that the policy is enforced across Macs, and of course we have Kerberos access. Uh, so that means passwordless access to uh, shares and printers and and things of that nature in the directory. Also, high availability will do offline access, and uh, we'll do a lot of configuration for security, like uh, you know that Mac administrators can only add move and remove Mac's computers. Um, we're going to eliminate the, sh the sharing of a Mac account. You know, sometimes you have an, a local admin account that everyone knows the credentials for that. We're gonna eliminate that practice. Uh, of course, enforcing the password policy. Uh, we're gonna do a screen server within 10 minutes. Um, we're gonna have users not be able to launch the terminal utility, log a banner. Um, Users shouldn't be able to launch the iCloud, iCloud uh, system preference. The fire was always on. iChat, iTunes, and iMusic sharings that will be disabled. Uh, in a later scenario, and this is going to be a separate video, we'll do 5 volt to encryption. Um, access to external drives will be password protected. And uh, we're going to do another one with uh, uh, computer certificates using the Microsoft CA, leveraging the Centrify agent. So some configuration items, uh, DNS stuff. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that uh, through GPOs as well. Uh, Apple Remote Desktop, FTP, web services, and SSH should be config uh, configured centrally. Uh, we're gonna have fast user switching disabled, and finally, uh, from a user perspective, we're gonna map our home directories automatically, shared directories automatically. Uh, just for giggles, we're gonna put the dock on the left side. And uh, we'll do printer provisioning as well. So that's our scenario. And the next video will be basically getting started with the setup on the AD side.